These have been 3D printed, which is a process whereby a machine takes a series of digital instructions to extrude molten plastic in multiple layers, building up a 3D object. What's interesting about these is not only were they made with the 3D printer, they're also parts for a 3D printer. Today we're at the Werkertage for a workshop with Open3D Engineering where we're going to build and learn how to use the open source RepRap 3D printer. RepRap is an open community making self-replicating machines. Everyone's free to adapt parts and ideas, which means the printers evolve as the community grows. About two years ago I built my first uh, 3D printer. It takes quite long to do this. It took me about two months to build my first printer. It was very frustrating and what we are trying to do here is to get all this frustration uh, away and do it in two days and uh, have basically people coming out here with a 3D printer that they can use and so they know the basics. What we are building today here is the Prusa i3. It's kind of the lead model of the RepRap project. I think this is a very good printer to start with. Of course there are many other designs out there. It's a living machine. This is basically just a proposal of how you can make a 3D printer. You, can, you are completely able to, to change anything you like or download updates or, or make your own improvements or make a completely different printer out of it. Was wollt ihr damit drücken? Erst mal die Teile für meinen Drucker. <lacht> Chaos, aber, <lacht> aber es funktioniert erstaunlich gut. Ne? Man stellt einfach ein Ding hin ja. und alle gucken irgendwie beieinander ab. Alle machen die gleichen Fehler, aber irgendwann irgendwie geht es dann doch. By the end of day one, all sprockets are in place, beds are attached and the last bolts have been tightened. But there's still plenty to do tomorrow. Yesterday we achieved that <coughs> basically all printers have been uh, put together. Uh, some last details left, but I'm quite happy that most of the things fit together. Today is really the day that we wire everything up and put the software where it should be and make the right settings. Yeah. What we hope to achieve is to involve more people in the RepRap community, so uh, there is uh, more chance that people actually start developing things, uh, start complaining about things, so other people develop things. In other words, that the quality gets better. Uh, quality in print quality, but also in, in building quality, so it's nicer to build. And we hope to do this like once a, m once a month. Uh, so every month, 10 more people actively involved in, into the RepRap society. I think we have now a lot of people that are thinking since a long time that they want to have a 3D printer. 
and they were waiting because they thought it was not really in a state that, they, that it makes that makes too much sense to put too much effort in it. Um, the broader public, I think, they just want to use it. So we also look into solutions to just use it without having your own 3D printer. Because I don't think it makes sense for everybody to have uh, a 3D printer at home to print uh, once every three months some spare parts they need. Um, so we are also working on solutions for this to uh, connect people that actually do 3D printing and people that want to do 3D printing. Um, because in the moment it's still incredibly expensive if you do it uh, in an online place. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Was denn? Ich würde sagen, der liegt zu hoch. Der ist viel zu hoch. Ja, der liegt zu hoch, deswegen. Entweder ist zu viel Material. Oder der ist zu hoch. So, so gut. Nicht ein rapid Prototyping, ja? Ja, ja. Und? Na, das sieht gut aus. Jetzt langsam. Ja. Das soll nicht passieren, ne? Nee, das soll nicht passieren. Ja. Ja, fertig.